players can attempt to brush aside weak forces while moving during their movement phase. The procedure for doing this is called column attack. The name column attack refers to units hastily attacking without bothering to deploy for a more regular and effective attack. Units performing column attacks are doing just that, attacking while still organized in marching columns. Column attacks are much less effective than normal attacks since the moving units can only bring a fraction of their combat power to bear. Column attacks are conducted at half strength. Units stop moving when they conduct a column attack and cannot resume movement except possibly to advance after the column attack combat. Column attacks may only be performed by individual units or by stacks of units that begin the movement phase together and move together as a stack up until conducting the column attack. Let's look at an in-depth example. Here's the situation at the start of the German movement phase. Note that there are four German units together in hex 2205. There are two 8.5s and two 5.5s for a combined total of 26 strength points. Since they have started the movement phase in the same hex, this stack, the four units in hex 2205, are capable of conducting a column attack. But first, to reduce supply line lengths, the German player moves the 8th Army headquarter from 1907 up to 2205. One, two, three, four movement points. And now the stack that started in 2205 moves. It moves through 2204 over to 2304, expending three movement points. It stops there so it can conduct a column attack against the Russian 5th Rifle Brigade in Hex 2404. Column attacks require the expenditure of supply, just like normal combat. In this case, the German player fully supplies the 26 strength point stack by spending 7 supply points from the 8th Army Headquarter. Since they are conducting a column attack, the German stack, now in 2304, conducts the attack at half strength, so they will use the 13 column on the combat results table. Let's say that the German player rolls a 3 and causes a loss of 2 strength points to the Russians. This will force the Russian brigade in 2404 to retreat and suffer a one strength point loss. The Russian player takes the one strength point loss and retreats the unit to 2504. There are significant advantages to counterattacking when subjected to a column attack. The defenders of a column attack are doubled before they are again doubled or tripled for the counterattack. In this case, let's say the Russian player expends one supply point from the first Russian army to supply the brigade for the counterattack. The two strength point unit would first be doubled due to being attacked by a column attack, then it would be doubled again as a retreating unit that is counterattacking. This means that the retreated brigade would counterattack using the eight column on the combat results table and they are guaranteed to inflict a one strength point loss on the Germans. The German player takes this loss with one of the five fives in the stack, placing a minus one strength marker on it. Let's bring one in, place it on the unit. Since the Russian brigade retreated, the column attacking Germans can advance into the vacated hex. They do so, moving in the reduced strength division first, and then both of the 8-5s, leaving a single 5-5 in hex 2304. 
This is still the movement phase, so the German player can continue moving other units. Note that the units that conducted the column attack are now done with movement and cannot move any further, even though they still had movement points available. The German player now moves the first division from 2405 to 2404. It too will conduct a column attack against the now reduced brigade in 2504. To do so, the German player expends two more supply points from the 8th Army headquarters. The German 1st Division would attack using the 4 column since it's at half strength for conducting a column attack. Note also that his die roll would be reduced by 2 due to the terrain effect of the river. So if the German rolls a 6, he will cause the Russian brigade to retreat again. But let's say he doesn't, and there is no effect on the Russian defender. The Russian 5th Brigade can now counterattack against this new column attack from the German 1st Division. The Russian player again opts to pay one supply point from the 1st Russian headquarter to supply the counterattack. The one strength point is doubled due to being subjected to a column attack, then it is tripled due to being a non-retreating defender. The overall result is that the Russian Brigade will counterattack on the 6th column, plus 1 will be added to the counterattack die roll due to the river. Let's say the Russian is lucky and rolls a 6. This means that they inflict a 2 strength point loss on the Germans. So the German 1st Division is reduced to a strength of 6. Let's show that here. It still is movement phase, so the German player continues to move units. He moves the 1st Land Bear Brigade from Hex 2104 um, to 3 4, over to join the other units in Hex 2404. He moves the 6th Land Bear Brigade from 2004 over to 2103. And then he moves the 35th Reserve Erzatz Division from 2506 over to 2405. He then moves the Cavalry Division in 2305. This unit will conduct column movement, increasing its movement allowance from 6 to 9, so long as it does not enter an enemy zone of control. Let's follow the unit as it moves. Here, one movement point, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine movement points to get to hex 2401. The German player then declares the end of his movement phase. All of the units that conducted column attacks in the movement phase are allowed to participate in attacks during the combat phase. Note that the German units in 2404 are well poised to attack and advance into 2504, and that the Russian divisions in hexes 2303 and 2403 are in danger of being surrounded as a result.